wood expert Will has fashioned a curved piece of oak to replace the missing backrest of the Victorian high chair. The challenge ahead is some intricate carving. I've drawn out the template. That's what it's going to look like when it's all cut out. So the woodwork finished. Let's see if it fits. And there we are, looks pretty good to me. One thing that does stand out now is that this is incredibly light and everything else is a lot darker. So I need to stain this to match. Well, that's all the woodwork polishing and staining done. I'm really pleased with the results there. It's a really good match. With his woodwork duty fulfilled, Will can now pass the baton to metal expert Dominic Chenier. Hey, mate. What on earth have you got there? Oh, look at that. This is a high chair yep. that um, turns into a rocking chair. Nice. Pretty that's cool, really it? cool. Yeah. There's a mechanism at the back that should work a lot better than it currently does. Oh, OK. Yeah, just that you pull that up, these pins pop out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah, OK. You see what I mean? There you go. And then that goes into a high chair position. You put it again, and then it goes back down. But... It's Victorian Transformers. It is Victorian Transformers. Um, but it's really rusty, and it's not working as well as it should do. That's no problem. I can clean all that up. Susie is going to re-leather the seat and the back. So this is leather? Oh, perfect. Yeah. So whilst I've got it in pieces, if I'll give that to Susie. That'd be amazing. Top man. Leave it with us. Thanks, thanks Dom. Yeah, thanks, mate. It's a brilliant little thing. Unfortunately, it needs a little bit of help. The mechanism, the main problem is the spring's broken. So I'm going to take this out of her way and then get stuck into the mechanism. That's the first bit off, which is good. Hopefully the rest comes apart that easily. That's the main rod out. There we go. There's my spring. Just a crumbled mess. The four wheels are the last things to come off. Then it's over to the third specialist on board this project, leather expert Susie Fletcher. What do you have planned? I'm intrigued to see what you're going to do. So I've just got to make a, a padded seat. I'm going to cover it with leather. Yeah. I'm going to do the same on the back here. Sounds okay. good. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks so much. See you soon. Before Susie can make the leather seat pads, she must build the underlying structure. I started marking out where the seat and the back's going to be on this chair. I'm ready to put some webbing on, and this is going to get the support that we need. A lot of my saddle-making skills are very similar to an upholsterer's. I have had many conversations with Jay and other upholsterers, and it's surprising how similar a lot of the techniques are. 